Hey guys, how's it going? It's Flatter Sage here. And today I want to do a quick little video on a very important medicinal herb. Some of you might have heard of it already called red clover. And luckily there's where I'm walking, there's a patch of it right over here close by. <sighs> Just out for a walk in the city right now. Good old downtown Fredericksburg. <laughs> and if no and if there's people out there that don't know where that is, it's probably for the best. Because <laughs> this place sucks. Uh, we're almost there guys just have to cross the street real quick and I got my Ziploc bags I'm going to harvest a couple of these real quick people probably have no idea most people who don't know about herbs and stuff like that probably have no idea what I'm doing probably think I'm gonna kill myself <laughs> eating plants uh, but luckily where is it um, there was a patch of it I thought somewhere over here ah it's down this way okay Alright, bear with me guys. At the wrong section. But there's a lot of luckily red clover, there's a lot of it growing around, so. Oh actually, no, we are here. Alright guys. This right here is red clover. Now, I'll pick a few of these real quick. I'm right next to the road, but I don't really care if anyone is confused on what I'm doing. All right, so while I'm doing this, if you guys can hear me, the truck just passed by but uh, basically the part when you guys pick these clovers too blow on it a little bit really good tap it at the bottom get out all the pest now I'll talk about some of its medical attributes while I'm picking this right now but uh, basically when you forage, find the nicest looking flowers. Um, so I guess the first thing I'll do is I'll, I'll uh, I show you guys how to identify it. Grab one of these. So, this is the leaf of the red clover. It's got a leather kind of sh kind of feel to it, smooth at the edges, and it's got a little white arrow at the bottom. The flowers, you know, obviously. It's getting a little dark here, but obviously look like have like little pistol type flower purple pistol type flowers. Um, uh, so, usually, as far as I'm aware of, there are no lookalikes to red clover. Um, I can take that one too. And there's a lot here too, so that's good. Uh. 
Oh, I need not really that many. And uh, now that I've briefly described it a little bit, let's talk about some of its medical benefits. So medical benefits of this, and it's very important for people nowadays, one of the primary benefits of this is it helps um, it help the one of its primary areas of focus is on the lungs so people who have coughs respiratory infections and stuff like that uh, red clover is a good one um, also it helps facil facilitate bone health which is another good one um, No, that's not good. It's not a good one. Try to find some nice looking ones that aren't damaged. And um, the taste of these, actually, guys, is has like a surprisingly sweet kind of. Surprisingly sweet kind of flavor to it. Um. I've never made these into teas before, but from what I hear from other people who have made into teas, they, they say it makes a pretty good tea. So we're gonna give that a shot after I collect mine. Um, let's see, there is way too much for me to pick, obviously. And like for for one cup of tea, I don't think I'm gonna need a whole lot of these. Um, I think I should get one or two more, maybe. What does this one look like? Yeah, I'll take that one. One and two. All right. So I got my bag right here. Wonderful, wonderful red clover. And uh, uh, also the, the bone health, it helps strengthen and improves the bones. So that's a good one too. Um, but main reason I want it is because I want to make it into a tea. Um, it's uh, also another thing, this is rich in vitamin C too, as well, so if you guys uh, are interested in that. Oh. So yeah, and that's basically red clover. Um, it's got a lot of wonderful benefits to it. Um, and uh, also it's rich in uh, niacin, phosphorus, potassium, um, uh, calcium, and uh, a bunch of other things that I'm probably not remembering off the top of my head. But uh, I highly suggest giving this herb a try, uh, making it into a tea. Um, again, this herb is 100% safe for consumption. Um, and from what I also understand, it also helps uh, women um, who are going through menopause as well. Um, so if that interests you guys, um, I suggest you guys get on out there and go harvest you some. Uh, you should, usually you'll be able to find it in, you know, well around here, it's, I've seen it grown everywhere, growing everywhere, but a lot of times it likes to uh, a lot of times it likes to be on uh, hillsides um, in clear clear areas on hillsides um, that's where a lot of them in my area who are growing uh, but this thing it goes 
grows pretty much everywhere and when you're walking around you can't you'll be able to see it uh, it's not hard to spot in fact I saw I completely forgot about red clover till I was walking to the store and saw saw it out the corner of my eye so <sighs> anyways guys red clover check it out anyways I'm gonna go ahead and head off here um, so I can go ahead and cross street and walk home so I love y'all hope everyone's doing well peace